welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show, everyone. Well, guys, yesterday the White House had a press briefing and they announced that they reached out to North Korea to restart nuclear talks, but had not heard back. Uh, at first, I thought the reason for the lack of response might be that Kim Jong-un uses a fax machine, but then I remembered Biden does, too, so... <laughs> well, hours after the White House said it hadn't received a response from North Korea, Kim Jong-un's sister made a statement. Listen to this. This new warning to the Biden administration, she says, if it wants to sleep in peace for the coming four years, it had better refrain from causing a stink at its first step. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Yeah, nice try, North Korea, but we're America. We haven't slept well for the past five years. So, like, <laughs> seriously, only four years without sleep sounds like a bargain. Also, I like that Kim Jong-un had his sister deliver the message. It's like North Korea's version of, uh, I heard a noise in America. Go check it out. <laughs> oh, and here's some big news. According to U.S. intelligence, Russia and Iran tried to interfere with the 2020 election. Biden's like, well, whatever you did. Thanks, fellas. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty rough news for Trump. It's like losing in Little League and then finding out your dad bribed the ump. Right now, right now, Putin and the Ayatollah are on a couch like a Nora Ephron movie. We met hacking the election. He wanted to hack ballots. I wanted to hack Twitter. And we've been together ever since. Well, some business news here. I saw that Mountain Dew is releasing a new sugar-free soda called Frostbite Zero Sugar. Here's a photo. Yeah, something tells me that if you're drinking a neon blue drink called Frostbite, you're not that worried about the sugar content. <laughs> Meanwhile, I saw that Heinz just launched three new combo condiments called Hanch, uh, Wasabioli, and Tarchip. Yes. When asked how they came up with these, uh, Heinz was like, we got draked, <laughs> drunk and baked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually uh, trying to be a little healthier, so I'm uh, waiting for a Tarchip Zero. <laughs> That's right, there are three new combo condiments. There's Tarchip, which is tartar sauce and ketchup, Hanch, which is hot sauce and ranch, and Wasabioli, which is wasabi and aioli. They're funny names, but some of the other combos they tried didn't really work out. For example, they tried combining balsamic and hot sauce and got hot balls. <laughs> and... <laughs> Then they combined oil, aioli, and mayo and got oi a yo! <laughs> and finally, they combined beef gravy, Italian dressing, and Greek yogurt in a wok with barbecue sauce and got a Jew, an Italian, and a Greek wok into a bar. <laughs> I mean, <that's... laughs> this is interesting. A new study found that almost 80% of Manhattan office workers will not return to their workplace full-time once their office reopens. Yep, 80% are happy that they won't return to their workplace, while the other 20% are parents. <laughs> I'll be back in 15 hours. Yeah. You guys know how to tuck yourselves in, right? Cool. See ya. <laughs> yep, boss is already trying to get people to come back. They're like, come on, there's, there's free hanch in the kitchen. <laughs> Sort of makes sense. It's basically, do I want my uh, three-bedroom office with a private bathroom, or do I want to share a cubicle with Frank, the guy in the office who burns microwave popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> There's someone here that does that. I forget who it is. I'll find out. I always smell it. <laughs> is that you, Quest? Yeah. I go, come on, man. If you're going to do it, just make, just stop it. Say, you know, I know you waste 10 <laughs> kernels. Just don't. i got to push all the way. got to get all those kernels popped. You ruined it, burned it, and the whole office smells like Two it. Two minutes and 37 seconds. <laughs> I got to do a science. No way, man. No, no. I'm sensor pop all the way, man. Sensor pop? Yeah, man. You got to do it by the sensors. You type popcorn sensor and it shuts off automatically. It does. Yeah. I got to try that. Totally works. You know how they do it? How they do it. What do you think? Any guesses? Um, I would guess that it's like uh, it's it's an audio thing. Like it's once you know the what are you you're talking microwave oven, right? Correct. 
once the microwave does like no longer hears the the popping sound mm. or you know once the pops are a certain you know d- distance apart or yep. amount of time apart then it it, it shuts down because you think it slows the popping slows down I'm, i know the popping slows down as the popcorn is. that's that's here's what we know <laughs> <laughs> when you cook some popcorn, uh-huh. the closer it is to being completely done, the less it's going to pop because, you know, the kernels have already popped. But yes. there may be some, some strays. You, know. you got a couple strays there, that which totally debunks your theory. So, no, you're wrong, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know. Okay. How does it work? Uh, uh, steam. Ah. There you go, everybody. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Now back to the show. Speaking of uh, <laughs> speaking of working from home, there's a new app for Zoom users. Check this out. The Zoom Escaper app. It allows Zoom users to sabotage their own calls with sound effects, like a crying baby. You can also make it seem as if yes! you have a bad connection. Yeah. That's right, an app that will make it seem like your Zoom has technical difficulties. So basically, these guys invented Zoom. <laughs> and finally, some news for Mega Millions players. Watch this. An unclaimed Mega Millions ticket purchase last year is set to expire tomorrow. The winning ticket was bought in Rhode Island on St. Patrick's Day 2020. It's worth $1 million, and the rightful owner has less than 24 hours to accept the lump sum. You know, last March, a guy left a ticket in his office next to a half eaten sandwich thinking, I'll take care of this tomorrow. Uh, 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 uh,